Hello, and welcome to Library Research for Social Work. My name is Patricia Farillo, and I am the Liaison Librarian for the School of Social Work. What you are looking at is the homepage to the library's website, library.fau.edu. This will serve as your portal to the library catalog and all of the library's online resources. My colleague, Ken Frankel, put together a general research guide for social work. This guide will walk you through the best library resources for your research topic in social work. To get to the guide, click on Research Guides located under the one search box. Then search for social work in the search bar Click search. Select the first result that says social work in bold. The research guide gives us an overview of the things we will be talking about in today's video. We will talk about the most important databases for conducting research in social work. We will talk about journals and journal articles, including going over what a peer reviewed journal article is and how to access peer-reviewed journal articles through the library website. We will talk about the library catalog and how to locate books and other materials owned by the library. And finally, we will go over how to get additional assistance. I am now going to return to the library's homepage by clicking on the FAU Libraries logo at the top left of the screen. We'll continue from here by going in and searching the library's catalog by clicking on the library catalog tab. The library's catalog is a database of books, both print and ebooks, government documents, and both streaming videos and DVDs, and special collections, things that the library owns or holds. The main thing that the library catalog does not include are journal articles. We'll be talking about how to access the articles in a little bit. So let's say I'm interested in finding information about homeless families. I can type in the keywords here and click search or hit enter. As you can see, we are going to get a list of resources that the library owns. You can see there's about 100, 428 results. You can see that this includes books, government documents, and so forth. You can see as I scroll down the screen, some say available online, some say available at Boca Raton Campus or Jupiter Campus with a number. The number are print books or physical items. So if I wanted this book, The New Poverty, Homeless Families in America, I would click on it and go into the library record. The library record has information about the book, a call number, which is used to find the book in the library. It also says that it may be loanable and that one copy is available. To locate the book in the library, just click on this locate button and a map will pop up. The map indicates that the book is located on the second floor. And because the call number, this number right here, begins with HV, that tells us which wing the book is located on. The book is located on the east wing, meaning it's the wing closest to the breezeway. And to find the book on the shelf, you would just look for this combination of numbers and letters. Also in this record is a permalink. The permalink is a permanent link to this record. Do not try to save this URL up here. This URL will time out. If you want to save the URL, you want to save, you want to copy and paste the permalink to any document that you are using to store your resources. It also contains an automatic citation generator. It has pre-selected APA 7th edition because I was in here earlier, and um, it has automatically generated our APA citation. But remember to check the citation for accuracy, accuracy before including it in your work. 
Remember, these are automatically generated by the computer, and so they may not be correct. Remember to bring the book down to the first floor of the lobby to the service desk to check out the book. Be sure to have your OWL card at the ready as it is your library card. To return to the results, just click X. If you notice on the left side of the screen here, it says refine your results. If we click on resource type, we can see the different resources that are offered um, for our search. If I wanna narrow my search to just include videos, I can click on videos. Some of them are DVDs, but you can see most of them are available online. To access a video online, we can click on the video working in homeless services. And then we would just click on where it says full text availability. It may ask us to log in or it may not because I am already logged in. So you would log in using your FAU ID and password. The reason we do this it would help if you if you actually knew your password. The reason it does this is because we have licensing agreements with database vendors who say we can only use, that the only people who can use our databases are those who are affiliated with FAU in some way. In other words, FAU students, faculty, and staff. And usually once we sign in, you can see that we have access to the video. Let's try another video, it might not be working. Sometimes that can happen. And if that does happen, please reach out to eResources. There's usually a, yep, there's a report a problem with this record or display source record. Um, you can click on that and report the issue. It's a good teaching moment. So you can see now that we are logged in, uh, we have access to video and you can just push play. It also gives you that automatic citation option and the option to share it via a permalink. So we're gonna exit out. We're gonna go back to our search results now. Just to reiterate, the library's catalog contains books, eBooks, government documents, streaming videos, and more, but it does not include journal articles. In order to get journal articles, we will have to try some other source. So let's go back to our homepage by clicking on the FAU library logo. Now, before I go into searching for journal articles, I wanna talk a little bit about what they are. A scholarly or academic journal is one that is written by experts in the field. To publish in an academic journal requires others to submit their articles for peer review. Peer review is a rigorous process in which an author's research paper undergoes scrutiny from other experts in the same field. Reviewers assess the paper for originality, validity, and significance. One such example is the Journal of Child Abuse and Neglect. A popular journal is one that is written for the general public. All articles are edited by an editor, but it does not contain peer review process. One such example is National Geographic. While it is a quality source of information, it does not meet the criteria for a scholarly resource. To learn more about this, in case you are interested, we have some really great videos that go into more detail about this in our online video tutorial section of the library, and they are also available or linked in our social work research guide. You will notice on our homepage that we have a tab that says journals or electronic journal search. And logically, you may think that this is a good place to find journal articles on a particular topic. However, this is not the case. 
you would only use this tab if you already know the name of a particular journal and wanted to find out if the library has access to that journal. For example, if I wanted to look for a journal called Child Abuse and Neglect, I would type that in and hit enter. And you can see it's our first article here. It will also try to uh, give me other suggestions with those words in the title. If I click on Child Abuse and Neglect, it will take me to the library record for the journal. And you can see here that we do have physical copies of the journal in the library. If you scroll down, you can see that it may be available and you can see the year range uh, for the physical articles. If you're interested in getting or finding more recent articles within this journal, we would click on one of the databases located under full text availability. You can see it takes me to a page that is dedicated to that one journal. I'm just gonna accept all the cookies. If I have a journal article, I can look up all issues and look up the article, look up the specific article by the year it was published and the volume it was published in. So this is a tab that you would only use if you already know the journal title or have the full, full citation of an article. It is not a place you would go to look up a particular subject. So we're gonna go back to the library's homepage. To find a article on a specific topic, we would use a particular database or we would use OneSearch. OneSearch combines all the resources the library has to offer. This includes all subject areas. Some find this overwhelming or difficult to sift through. So instead, we are gonna go back to that research guide that I showed you earlier. Again, by clicking on research guide in the one, under the OneSearch box and typing in social work, clicking enter, and going to that first link that says social work in Bolt. And then you can see here on the left side, on the left column, we have a tab dedicated to four databases. There are a couple of databases listed here that have content relevant to social work. The first two, Social Index with full text and Social Services Abstract, are really two of the best databases our library has to offer in social work. We're gonna take a look at Soch Index with full text. By clicking on that, you can see it's taking us to another database. Soch Index full text is a database that is hosted by EBSCOhost. EBSCOhost is the provider for many databases, one of which is Soch Index. Another database provider you may see quite a lot of is ProQuest. So we are in Soch Index with full text database that is provided by EBSCOhost. Here, we are gonna talk a little bit about creating a search strategy. Let us say that for my search research, I'm interested in elder abuse. So in this first box right here, we're gonna just type in elder. And you can see that it's already trying to suggest similar keywords. This helps to broaden my search because not all authors use the word elder when describing an older population. They may use any of the words that are listed here. So I want to make sure my, my research is broad enough to capture those instances where um, people are saying elderly, an author is referring to an older population as elderly or aged or older or geriatric. So we're just gonna select this one because it works the best for my research topic. And you notice that these words are connected, these similar terms are connected by the word or. 
or connects similar terms together, letting the database know that I could use any one of these words. They don't necessarily have to appear together in the article. On the next line down, we're gonna type in abuse. And you can see again, it's trying to predict or help me um, in my search by broadening that term. We're just gonna select abuse or neglect or maltreatment or mistreatment. Again, these similar words are connected by the word or. You can see here that elderly or aged, that concept is connected to abuse or neglect or maltreatment by the word end. End connects two concepts together. It narrows my search by telling the database I want any one of these words in combination with any one of these words. Some combination of these two lines must be together in an article for me for it to be relevant for my search. So I'm going to click search and see what our results are. You see we have quite a bit, um, close to 12,000 results. So what we're going to do is refine our results by going to this left column here and clicking on peer reviewed because we just want peer reviewed articles. And then we're also going to select academic journals because you can see here that some listed are not academic journals. So we want to knock those out. You can see we still have way too many. So we're going to narrow our results further by narrowing the date range. So we want the most relevant or recent results. Um, so we're going to do our search within the last five years to 2019. And we're just going to click Enter. And you can see we still have way too many to search through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down for a moment and see what kind of results I have. And you can see here that from that just quick scroll, I'm getting um, articles that focus on different geographical locations like Australia, Malaysia, and Espana. So what we're going to do is we're going to narrow our search to a geographic location. Uh, so say I'm just looking at elderly populations who have been abused in America. But if you're interested in a more national approach, feel free to use Australia. And you can see again, our different phrases are connected by that or term. And so we're down to under a thousand, which is good, uh, but that's still too many to go through. So I wanna add another line because I wanna add another search term, right? To help me narrow my field further. So let's say I'm interested in how we can prevent or intervene in elderly abuse in the United States. So I'm going to look at prevention. Now you don't have to use these words that they put together. You can actually use your own. If you find something that, you, that may be of more interest to you, or you can use a combination of any of these. So I'm going to type in or intervent or intervention or reduction. It helps if I spell it right. Or minimization. Again, it helps if you spell it right. So we're going to click search. And you can see we're down to 424. So that is a much lower number, but again, it's still not really doable. So we're gonna wanna narrow our search even further. So we have looked at our population and how to prevent it. And now maybe we can look at a particular setting in which the abuse is occurring in. So we're gonna add another line. 
and we're going to search for, say, we're interested in uh, nursing homes. Oops. And you can see here, it's again, trying to help us. We're just going to select that one and we're going to click search. And you can see our results are now 29. That is very, very doable to go through and look through um, and search through to see if we are interested in any of these articles. Now, the first thing I want to draw your notice to is um, this first article here, where it has an HTML full text and a PDF full text option. To get to those options, we're going to click on the article title, and it's going to bring us to a record of the article. You can see here that it has all of the same saving options that the FAU has and the previous um, databases had that I showed you. What is really good about the HTML full text option is if we click here, we'll bring us to that full text option. And it actually contains an option where you can listen to the article being read to you. And you can download that as an MP3. Now this is useful if you're sitting in traffic for a long time and that eats up a lot of your research time. So we can download the article and we can listen to it while we're sitting in traffic. That is also helpful. And again, you can have like, you can enlarge the text. So this, this is much more, this HTML file is very versatile, it's very helpful. However, when there's a full text PDF option, we always recommend that you download that full text PDF for a couple of reasons. One, it will be easier to access in the future if it is saved locally to your computer or to a USB. You don't have to worry about logging back in to get to the article. You can see that sometimes login issues happen. You saw that earlier in the video. So if you have a login issue, it won't be an issue if you have this article saved to your USB or your computer. Two, if there are any images or tables in the article, they are contained within the article itself. They are embedded in the article. With the HTML version, those embedded images and tables are actually taken out. They're, kind of, they're more difficult to find. They're not embedded within the article. You can find them. Um, they're just more difficult to find, again, and they're not embedded within the article. And the third reason why we recommend uh, really saving downloading the PDF is that if you're quoting directly from the article, the PDF gives you page numbers. You need, PD you need the PDF uh, page numbers to quote directly from the article, or it makes it easier to quote directly. So we're going to go back to our results list. So you can see here that there are some cases where the HTML full, HTML full text and PDF full text is not an option. Instead, it says find it at FAU. It means the full text isn't available through this database. So you have to click on find it at FAU if you're interested in the article, right? It'll bring us back to the FAU library's web pages where a record of the article is contained. Now, if we have the article, the full text article available in another database, it will show here under full text availability. And all you have to do is click on it. And there it's available as an HTML or as a PDF. Uh, different databases have different interfaces. They look different, um, but they all basically have the same components. They're just in a different location. However, sometimes you will find that if you go to, you go to click on find it at FAU and it does, it says full text availability. And then there's a link that says request through interlibrary loan. That means FAU does not have a database that has the full text available um, for that particular article, and you have to request it through interlibrary loan. It's a very easy process. You just click on that link, and it may ask you to log in using your FAU ID and password. Once you do, 
you just, it, everything is pre-filled for you. All you have to do is scroll to the bottom of the form that pops up, that automatic, automatically populates and click submit. Again, this is just one data database available to you. Uh, going back to our research guide, this is uh, all of the databases that are most relevant to social work. Um, you can also see that we have included legal databases and test and man management databases in, in case you find yourself in need of any of these, that they are available there for you. If you go down to our journals tab, it what it has is an explanation of the difference between an article, a journal, and a database, and a list of recommended journals in social work. We also have streaming videos available to you. Also in this guide, we have links to streaming videos. These are particularly of interest for those who are interested in doing clinical pra practice in social work. This includes videos to therapy sessions and, fame, and interviews with famous psychotherapists. This link here will bring you to our citation guide. From here, you can go to our APA bootcamp. And I did that by clicking on APA. And within contained within the APA bootcamp is our guides and handouts uh, from AT, APA videos and PowerPoints that kind of summarize APA citations and citing an APA. And then we also have um, quick guides for formatting your paper, using in-text citations, and creating a reference page. So this is very useful when you're writing your paper. Now, going back to our homepage here, I just want to very quickly show you another way to get to interlibrary loan. Uh, in case you want to, in case you know of a book, but we don't have it, you want to borrow a book, but FAU Library doesn't have it necessarily in its catalog, you can go to our homepage and under the one search search box, you can click on borrow from anywhere. And then click on login request a title. And then you're going to use the FAU patron login. You can see it brings me to this new page and you're going to go up here onto new requests. You're going to click on that drop down menu and you're going to select what type of resource you want, whether it's an article, a book, a book chapter, a thesis or dissertation or multimedia. This can be like a DVD or a CD. In this case, we're going to request a book and we're going to fill out as much of the form as we can um, that the more information we provide, the better they are able, interlibrary loan is able to find us the book. And the very bottom, you're just gonna click submit. This also works if you have a book you're interested in getting from Jupyter, say for example, um, say our sister library in Jupyter has a book that you're interested in, but you can't drive up or you, or you don't want to drive all the way up to Jupyter to get it. You can put in an interlibrary loan request for the book and have it shipped from Jupyter to FAU Book or Tone Library. So we're just going to exit out of this. And then going back to our homepage, there is just one more thing I wanna show you. It's how to get additional help through the FAU library. So you may have noticed that this has popped out on us several times. And um, it's also pretty much on every web page the library has. It's called Ask a Librarian. It is a 24 hour, seven days a week chat available to you. Uh, if you have any questions or you run into any research problems or you run into say your search strategy problems, you can always jump on, on into, into this chat and start asking us questions. FAU librarians are available Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. However, once we roll off the chat, Librarians in our consortium that come in and help us out when we're not available will take over. And they have access to all of the same resources we have access to. So that's always, always, always available to you.
another way to get help is to going up to this help tab right here and clicking on that. Again, you can see our Ask a Librarian chat. We also have video tutorials. I did reference this once or twice in the video. These are all video tutorials if you want to go more in depth and to say how to find a book in the library catalog or um, how to use OneSearch. We have video tutorials for that. We also have a do-it-yourself guide that has a Jeopardy-like interface um, that answers pretty common research questions that we get. We have this Ask a Librarian tab, so if we click on that, Chat is one of the ways you can come in, you can contact us, but we also have email. We do ask that you give us 24 to 48 hours to respond to your email. We have phone, a phone number you call if you have like a quick immediate question or you need additional help and you're not comfortable using the chat or waiting for an email. Um, you can always call us Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Again, we have that online do-it-yourself guide and video tutorials. We also have this frequently asked questions up here. Now these are just questions, general questions that we get all the time. So for example, if you're asking, how long can I borrow an item for? We have that answer for you. You can see here, and you can also go to borrow privileges. So if you're a graduate student, um, you can borrow a book for the entire semester, but if you're an undergrad, you have three weeks to borrow the book. And both, whether you are a undergraduate or graduate, you can borrow up to 500 books. So going back to our help, there is one more thing I wanted to point out to you, and this is the request a research consultation form. Just click on that. Now, this is when you really need assistance and none of the other stuff has helped. None of the other stuff has worked for you. You can go into this form and fill it out. What this form does is it allows you to request a one-on-one -on -one consultation with a librarian and the librarian will help you with your research strategy, um, helping you find resources um, or using the library resources that are available to you. Consultations take place in person, online, via Zoom, or over the phone. I do not recommend over the phone because it's difficult to show you how to do something over the phone. Whereas if we're on Zoom or we're in person, it's, it's much more easy to demonstrate how to perform a search. And we just ask you to select your preferred date and time. Uh, we have two options here. We ask that you give us two options. We also ask that you describe your research topic so we can do come kind of pre-research to prepare for you to come in so we can jump right in and show you how to do something. What we do ask is that you give us one to two business days to process your request. That means if you need assistance the same day, your best bet is to come into the library Go to the lobby and ask the, ask the service desk to speak with the librarian. If it's Monday through Friday, a librarian is always on call to assist you uh, with any research questions you come in. We always welcome walk-in. And I believe that will be all. So thank you for listening to me. And please reach out if you have any questions. Good luck and happy searching.